I'm going to show you a new modifier which is now available in a Jetpack Compose. It's called a marquee effect and uh, its purpose is to animate the content which is uh, too wide to be displayed on the screen. At the moment of recording this video, the new marquee effect can be applied on a bunch of different elements and not just the text elements. However, this modifier does not currently support the content that accepts the position-based input such as the pointer events. Ok, so uh, on the center of our screen we just have one simple text element, right? And to enable a marquee effect, we just need to add here a modifier which is called a basic marquee. Now this uh, basic marquee uh, function takes uh, multiple parameters and we are going to explore uh, each one of them. But before that, as you can see here, we have a warning because we need to add the experimental foundation API uh, at this point. So let's just specify that uh, right there, ok. And also press Ctrl Q to uh, check the official documentation uh, for this modifier as well. Now here it says that uh, when the animation of a marquee effect is running, it uh, will restart from the initial state if uh, either one of those conditions are met. So if any of the parameters of this modifier changes, or if the content or the container size changes. So down below in this documentation you can also see uh, what kind of uh, parameters we actually have. So let's just open up the actual source code of this modifier, so press Ctrl V. And the first parameter here is the iteration, so uh, for the iteration we can also read the documentation, so the number of uh, times to repeat this animation represented as an integer value. And a default parameter here is uh, specified as a number 3, ok? So that's the uh, default iterations which uh, is going to trigger this animation 3 times. Uh, the second parameter is uh, animation mode, so, so there are two different animation modes, the first one is uh, immediately and the second one is uh, while focused. So immediately will basically start uh, right away and this uh, while focused uh, means that the animation will be triggered only after the component is actually focused. Uh, the third parameter here is a delay uh, millisecond. Seconds, so a default value here is specified as uh, 1.2 uh, seconds and it means that uh, we are going to wait uh, 1.2 seconds uh, after each uh, animation iteration. The next one is uh, initial delay, so initial delay uh, when the animation is actually starting. Uh, here we have a spacing uh, parameter which basically specifies uh, the spacing between uh, start and the end of our content. A default value here is specified as uh, one third of the full uh, container width. So that's how it uh, actually uh, works. And the last parameter here is the velocity, which just represents a speed of our animation, represented as a dp. A default value here is specified as a 30 dp, right? So that's a default speed. So now let's get back to our example right here, and I'm going to specify here a couple of different parameters now. So we can specify uh, iteration to be, for example, int dot uh, uh, max value, which means that our animation uh, will uh, trigger and animate uh, indefinitely. Uh, the next one can be for example delay millisecond to zero. So we are not going to see any delay after each and every iteration of this animation. We can also use uh, initial delay as well, so we don't have to wait uh, after we launch uh, this application. And we can also specify here a velocity to be 100 dp to increase the actual speed of this uh, animation. Let's now uh, launch this application. And you will see that this animation will immediately start, so the initial delay is zero. And also after this uh, text uh, is complete, after this iteration finishes, then there will be no delay uh, as well. So this is a delay millisecond, so after this uh, first iteration completes, the next one will start immediately as well. And of course this uh, whole uh, marquee effect will uh, last uh, indefinitely, since we have specified here a max value for the iterations parameter. Now we can use this uh, marquee effect uh, with uh, other different elements and not just uh, text elements. So, so now I'm going to show you that. Let's just comment out this uh, text element. And I'm going to here uh, just uh, paste some code. So uh, I'm using here a simple row which uh, will contain uh, two different uh, image composables, right? So here we have specified a basic uh, marquee modifier in our row. And within our row we have one uh, train image and uh, 20 different uh, train wagon uh, images, okay? So now let's uh, check that out uh, as well. So now you can see that uh, this animation will not start because now we have specified here the animation mode to be uh, while focused. And this means that this uh, actual animation or marquee effect will trigger only after this row is actually focused. So how can we focus this row? Uh, well, let's first create here uh, one variable named a focus requester. And let's here remember one value, which will be a focus requester. 
Okay, and now within this row where we are calling this uh, basic uh, marquee modifier, uh, we also need to pass uh, two more modifiers. The first one is a focus uh, requester. Let's just call here that a uh, focus requester. And the second one is a uh, focusable. Now, after those two, we also need to add here a logic on our button. So whenever we press our button, then and only then we should start this uh, marquee effect animation. So let's just call here a focus requester dot request focus. Now the reason why we are here implementing the animation uh, only when we press our button is because that uh, that way we can save uh, our battery life. So it's actually a bad practice to run this uh, animation uh, indefinitely because that way your uh, battery life will decrease a lot. Anyhow, now whenever we press our button, then we are going to request the focus on our row to which we have passed this focus requester and our animation will start. Okay, and there we go. Now here this is the uh, delay, which is by default 1.2 seconds. So, so after the first iteration um, completes uh, and before the second one starts, we are going to have here a default delay, which is 1.2 seconds. So the same delay as we have uh, inside the, our initial delay um, property. So that's how it works. And there you go. A default value for iterations in this basic marquee function is number three. So if you don't specify that parameter explicitly, then your animation will iterate three times. And there you go. So that's uh, everything I wanted to share with you in this video. So be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about this uh, new uh, marquee effect. And also don't forget to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that will be all.